Hello guys, Paul here. So, as I said, I'm gonna pop in on live video today on Facebook because I've got some something good to print. Well, I, I hope is um, I hope is good. Um, the thing is, there is there is a there is a, a new craze in a, in the sublimation world. It's like um, it's like something new popped out and everyone wants it. Um, so obviously, if everyone wants it. I want it to. So what it is? This is a vinyl. This is a, this is the vinyl, but it's not ordinary vinyl that you would you just you know cut the letters and press on your T-shirt. This is something better than that. This is the glitter vinyl. So the glitter vinyl, like most of people know, is is, is just a vinyl that that could be of a sparkling glitters on um, stuck on. It looks really good. It's very effective. You can charge a few pounds extra just for just for the extra spark. So. Um, um so uh so why not to tr why not try it and uh, and see um and see how it goes um so i went to the i went to the company um rasmart here you go they they sent me um they sent me the um um uh, vital i i didn't go crazy i just got the one meter because I don't know if it works. Mo loads of people say, "Oh, you can sublimate on on the on the vinyl. You can sublimate on the vinyl." So, I never tried, but obviously I have to. You know, oh, one meter here. They posted to me. I got it out within. I think I had the next day. Yeah, I had the next day. You know, and uh, nice box, very nice packed. Never used the company before, so I'm 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 very pleased with it. So uh, here it is, brand new roll, still taped, um, and I'm going to I'm going to print something. Um, are you ready to the image? Are you ready to the image here? Here we go. Just a simple thing. Um, I just put the JPEGs. I just put the JPEGs so uh, they know vectors. I can't cut them on my. Um, on my BN20 because I don't have an invector anyway and the BN20 that would take much much longer than than I would do probably with scissors this is only one page one A4 so I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with um, with uh, with just A4 okay so let's have a go I gotta undo it I'll let me move my camera a little bit uh, By the way, if you have any comments during this uh, live video, just give me a shout. I can see every single question, so I try to I try to answer it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see if it's sparkly. Can you see the sparkness? Because it's quite dark now. You should just see it. Okay, so let's cut the A4. Uh, this is this much. Oh, I'm gonna quickly chop it. That should be okay. Not perfectly size so far, but should be alright for what I'm doing. Okay, let me just uh, stash it away because if I like it, I'm gonna use it a lot. Okay, now a uh, few words of the explanation. There is a um, the, the uh, supplier recommends to print the design, cut the shape out. Take the shape to the garment, to the heart, to the back, whatever you print, and then print the design in sublimation in slightly bigger, then match it to the garment and press it. You need to you need to uh, you need to print your artwork slightly bigger so it overlaps nicely with the with the shape. Um, 
I didn't try it, how about you really find the, find the problem with it because I've done a similar thing with the assembly flock and it didn't work, didn't quite work because um, the bleeding I left, it was about five, well, four, three, four, five millimeter on each side. This actually sublimate to the cotton a little bit so you could see the ghosting. So what I do now, I press it first to the to the vinyl and then vinyl stuck to the cotton. You probably think how do I do that? I'm gonna show you now how. Let me just uh, move, move you, move myself. Up. Here we go. Let me let me just turn the camera away, the better quality. see me or oh, maybe not that will be okay okay you can see my press that's most important um, okay I take my tissues off oh and one more thing what did I just bought here we go I normally use I normally use the Teflon sheets. You, you probably most of you use the Teflon sheets to. Um, oh, sorry, I just you I just switched something on the the on the Facebook. Oh, I just no. watched my own video. Oh, no good. Oh, no. Here you go. Switch stuff now. Um, you normally use the Teflon to cover your bottom platen and top platen. So am I. I use uh, I got a few sheets of the of the black of the black really heavy really heavy duty um, Teflon sheets. I have the standard Teflon sheets to cover top and the bottom. But what I got myself is this. This is the this is the perfect fit for bottom of my press. I always seen that on the all those American videos on YouTube they, they have they can they can easy buy um, the Teflon Teflon fit um, perfectly fit to the bottom. I tried to look in the UK but no one got it, no one no one um, no one sell it. And my platen is pretty standard for the for the uh, if you have a decent press, uh, sixteen by twenty inches is a is a pretty good standard. So this is it. This is this this is gonna be perfect fit, and I got it in UK in uh, in a Rasmart uh, um, company. I will post the link underneath the video. So if you have a 16 by 20, that need to be yours. Let me feed that in. on now. There you go. It's just an ordinary Teflon sheets, but it has the fittings, so you never move away, never stick to it to the garments or nothing. Perfect. This is what I wanted. When I've seen it, I, th I thought to myself, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Here we go. I don't know how hard it is to fit it, but it shouldn't be too hard. But if it's perfect fit, hmm. Oh, by the way, the, the stuff on the bottom, oh, hold on. That stuff on the bottom, is the neoprene? I don't know how to how to pronounce that, but it's a neoprene. It's like a like a black foam. It's really it's, it's quite elastic, but it's but it's strong. Here we go. Perfect fit. You have to have it. If you have a 20, 16 by twenty, you have to have it. To be honest, they might have a different sizes if you ask them, but I'm not sure. I didn't look. Um, yeah. This is must have if you if you annoyed with uh, with a putting t-shirts on the on the platen. Watch this. Here we go. Easy. Easy because it's very slippery. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Job done. You can probably very quickly very quickly turn it around. Here we go. Yep, perfect very easy to move about you won't do it on the on the black rubber is underneath so 
in the last six months, I think this is the best money I ever, I ever could spend. And you probably too. Here we go. Look, look how easy is position the t-shirt. Perfect. Here we go. Get rid of the wrinkles. Grab down the off of the press. Never mind. Back to the subject. So, as I said, it will probably will shock you because I'm gonna do it a bit different way. I'm not gonna press the vinyl first. No, I'm not. Um, so what I'm gonna do? I peel that carry shit, yeah, of that. Have a look what I'm doing now. I'm gonna peel it away. Oh, it's a nice and shiny. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how, how nice and sparkly it is? Brilliant. By the way, guys, as I said, if you have any questions, just ask or just <laughs> relax. Open up your beer and just enjoy. There you go. There you go. So this, what you normally would leave after cutting, I'm chucking it away. So I just have a, I'm just have a glue on this side and sparkly side. Look what I'm gonna do. Spare it from shit. Put that on the teflon sheets. Nice, flat. My printed transfer. You're probably shouting now, no, it's gonna stack to you, it's gonna stick to your press. Well, you will. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, by the way, just in case, I use my one more of my. Uh, just to cover my um, top um, top platen. So that's gonna be uh, some time. It's, it, it takes about 60, 70 seconds on 180 centigrade to sublimate to the uh, to the glitter vinyl. This is this is reference to the from um, from the supplier website, which link will be below this video. Okay, so now we can throw it that away, and we will wait 60 seconds. There we go. 60 seconds. I put it on me. As I said, this is only my way of doing it. I'm only doing it not now because I've done sim similar stuff with a subli flock. When I used to press subli flock, fr flock fr first and then transfer it, I always had a little ghost in around the around the shirt if it was on the white shirt. So this is the way to avoid it. Okay, 60 seconds gone. It's gonna be hot, very hot. Ouch! Bloody hot. Here we go. Take the. We can discard this. That's all done. And let me just grab this really heavy Teflon sheet. It's stuck. It's stuck to the Teflon. Guess what? That's not a problem. Do you know why? Because it's a Teflon. Glue won't go nowhere. It's going nowhere. It's a Teflon. It's a really shiny stuff. So you go nowhere. You can press it as many times as you want. Look. You just grab the corner and look. No problem. Here we go. Glue remain exactly the same spot. Because there is no, there is no, there is no fibers in the in the in the in the Teflon, so that's why you can do it. You're probably gonna shout at me now. Well, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. 
let's <laughs> let's see by the way as I said this is a JPEG I didn't have the vector so I didn't cut them um, I couldn't cut it on my um, on my cutter if you have a loads of it you can vectorize it you can vectorize it you can run it through your uh, craft robo cameo silhouette cameo pn20 or whatever cutter you have <coughs> and then do it I use the I use the really really old methods I'm not sure if you ever heard about this it's Jesus so give me a few seconds I'll be with you again in a minute actually oh here we go I can move you here <coughs> here you go Bigger scissors. I'm using scissors just to show you the possibilities because obviously, obviously, if you have a one off and someone sends you a JPEG, I'm just showing you that can be done. Why not? Obviously, it's not as easy as as you could could do with your craft robo or maybe a silhouette cameo or whatever you use now. But it's doable. Oh, it's a quite large sheet. There we go. That's a really pain in the bum to to cut such a large piece. But if I said I will, I will. Tell you something, this is really, really nice and sparkly. I'm loving it already. Okay. Okay. Here's something. I'm gonna do this way. I'm gonna cut half of it. So it will be easier for me to cut. Okay, I'll move that one, that piece away. Cut this piece away. That will be much, much easier. I'm old enough to use the scissors, but I'm not great with them. So, thanks God, someone actually come up with the idea of uh, of evading the cutters, vinyl cutters. I'm like a child. I'm probably gonna cut myself or ruin my print. Okay. Nearly done. Yeah. I'm only cutting it that long because there's a there's a quite a few tricky elements to do. And now I'm actually regretting it because I should I should vectorize it. Any questions there? <coughs> nope, no questions. There's a quite a few watchers. But no questions. Okay, let's so nearly cut around the image. Now just the details, details in corners, okay, that will be quick, one, okay, 
Okay, that's one. It's gonna be two. It's gonna be three. I'll tell you something, I like how he looks like. I don't like the cutting, but I like how he looks like. Okay. So guys, next time, I'm going to use my cutter. Oh, damn, we'll use it. Okay. Two more details. On the bumper. Oh, Christ, I don't trust myself with the scissors. Um, Behind the door, you can you, you, you normally see behind me. There is my little munchkin knocking. She's only seven, and I tell you something: if I give it a scissors and this to cut, that'll be done by now. <laughs> my seven is old. Little girl is much much better than me with scissors. Well, probably everyone else is. That took me a little while, but a razor is stuck. Here we go. That's one. Can you see how this, how sparkly this is? Beautiful. Okay, I put it on my press. Oh, maybe not, because it will stick to it again. And I have a easier design now. I have a love heart. I got beautiful British love heart. Beautiful British Union Jack. That's going to be nice print. Why not, eh? Let's be patriotic. Oh, my, oh dear, this must be boring. Probably everyone left me now. Oh, watch us. I said, come on, Paul, hurry up. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Okay, the good bit will start in a minute. I promise you. Oh, I'm not bad with love hearts, I tell you guys. I tell you that. Not bad. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful British flag not best card but not too bad either dear me good job I don't have a circles to um, circles to cut and is there one more that's a bit tricky one Guys, next thing, can you just remind me, if I'm if I'm too lazy to vectorize stuff, tell me to <laughs> pull the finger out, <laughs> and I'm gonna do it. I can see some white edges here. Details. Okay, here we go. A cupcake. Okay, go back to your place. 
and now I'm gonna I'm gonna press it. So first I'm gonna do the tracking one. I'm going to I'm gonna do at the front at the back at the front why not? Here we go. How easy is that? God, I love this mat. No, seriously. See if your bridge is 60 by 20. I don't know how can you live without this. Yeah. Job done. Off. Um, sorry for showing up. I just love it. I just use it first time. Yep. Get rid of the wrinkles. Done. And now, if you remember, I used the 180 for one minute. I will still use the one, 180, I tell you why, because there's sublimation ink on it. If it's sublimation ink on it, I want it to pop out even more. So that's why I will use the 180. But I will drop the time to the 10 seconds. So 10 seconds. On 180 degrees centigrade, it will be plenty enough to stick to your to your t-shirt. I tell you that. Yeah. Move my pain in the bottom design here. Well, it's not mine, <laughs> but I just cut it. It's not my design. Here we go. Cover sheet. Oh, I don't know. Before I go. Before I go. Before I go. You know, just how it looks like before you press. Can you see sparkles? Yeah, there you can see. Well, you can see the elements are not great, but I'm not gonna keep you any longer watching it. How I cut. Here we go. Okay, let's crack on with this one. Ten seconds. <coughs> Hey guys, don't be shy. Uh, <laughs> Who says that? Oh, Daniel, you did not tell me I was on. <laughs> when I when I uh, when I start a video, you should show up on everyone else's wall. So be always on Facebook, always. Okay, what else? Has the whole paper got sparkles on? Yes. The old vinyl is full of sparkles. It looks like a wrap paper. Well, it's not wrap paper. It's like a normal vinyl. It's just full of it. Really, really sparkly. Where is this? Here we go. Was that? That's Daniel. Here we go, Daniel. This is the this is the roll. Yeah. This is the roll. When you open up, full of sparkles. Probably don't see it because it's dark. Or maybe you can. You see? It? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. That's beautiful. I, I don't know. I'm not even touching it. I'll show you that like this. Here we go. Look at those sparkles. Beautiful. If you print, sorry, if you cut on the normal cutter, you could get rid of those white spaces, but. Okay, call me a lady. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, a sparkle for you. I'm loving it. Another one. This is the this is the lady tops polo shirt from BNC. I'm gonna print on, on the as a breast logo. It's only small in size, I believe. Yeah, no, that's medium. Should fit over my press. Only just. Only just. You're probably gonna, sh gonna shout now, no, 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 watch the bottoms, watch the bottoms, they will melt. No, they won't. <coughs> or maybe they will, I don't know. No. Get rid of that. Moisture. Let's do a 
cupcake. Oh, drop it. And okay, let's put it here. Oh, that's hot. I put it hot, tucked in here, and a patriotic design on the other side. That should be alright. Again, ten seconds. Because it's bloody warm in here. Okay, let it cool and I move you here. Okay, so here we go. Here we are, guys. Master dark red t shirt or burgundy or whatever you call it. I'm a man, I only see yellow, green, and blue. Oh, black and white. Here we go. This is uh this is the vinyl glitter vinyl that you can sublimate on. I tell you something, it's dark and the camera on the iPhone doesn't do it justice. But it's so sparkly, it's so sparkly that I'll be actually embarrassed to wear it. Here we go. Can you see it? Probably can. And this is a girly top. Got the freaking flag. Here it is. Very, very, very sparkly. I tell you something, try that. Can you see? From a distance, probably not. Oh, now it should be more sparkly. This one and a cupcake. Anyways, so here we are. Two garments printed. Lovely, lovely there. As you can see, they. They stuck properly on it because uh, when I print them on the on the Teflon on the Teflon sheets, glue goes nowhere. It stays on the vinyl, so no problem with doing this way. One and the tracker logo. Yeah. Thanks for watching.